My name is uh, Peter Kukwe. I come from Liberia. I'm the president of the Press Union. As a result of the war, I mean, uh, the, the media in our country is undercapitalized. And some of the challenges we have uh, range from uh, equipment to training and to, I mean, better pay. I mean, those are real challenges that we're facing. My name is Douglas Fangalo. I'm a student studying media and communications with uh, emphasis in radio production as a radio specialist here at the Birmingham City University. I've been studying here since 2006 and uh, um, I took on initiative to request a few broadcast recorders from the university so I could take home to contribute to the um, reconstruction of my country. I've been part of the media in Liberia and the media uh, capacity, manpower resources capacity in Liberia got severely depleted because of the civil war and so the university was very 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 kind, very very generous to respond um, to my re uh, request and I was given four professional recorders, even though they said it was decommissioned, but it worked perfectly. And I took it with my own resources back to Liberia on behalf of the university and presented it to the Press Union of Liberia. And the recorders were in turn or distributed to various press agencies that were in dire need of those recorders. This is Sam Coley, degree leader in radio at Birmingham City University. Guys, it's a real pleasure to have you with us today. And I just thought I'd take the opportunity while you're here to have a quick chat about the um, situation of, say, journalism in Liberia at the moment. And um, I'm interested in the relationship between the press and the government because it's always a tenuous situation, isn't it? Um, governments can be very wary of the role that journalists have. And we've seen in Kenya um, recently the, the issue of the media being accused of inciting violence um, and, and governments have been very quick to um, sort of repress the media because of this. Do you find that that's happening in Liberia? The Liberian situation goes back into the conflict and we come from a combative background and journalists are also fixed into that. Uh, but in some way the, the, the government regimes have also uh, inflicted injury, I mean wounds on, on the media. Uh, and so in some way the media have been fighting for space you know, to operate, uh, while at the same time uh, trying to overstep some of their own bounds and, and functions. So it's been, it's been a mixture of um, collaboration and tension. And there are sometimes we, uh, we see ourselves in, in partnership with uh, the government on some issues. Uh, but honestly, uh, the, the problem is on both sides. Uh, the government is heavy-handed sometimes, and there yeah, are instances where some media personnel uh, really go beyond, you know, the, the call of duty. I mean, people are underpaid, and so you can understand the, the constraints. So it's a whole lot of, you know, issues that we have to be confronted with. The uh, broadcast media is very vast in Liberia, unlike in the past, um, before uh, 1990, you may say, we had just two religious radio stations. You had the government radio station, which is the sole government radio station. It's called ELBC, which are the core letters of the um, of the, uh, of the country, of uh, core letters of that particular station. And the, of course, the country, the media in the country, it always has EL behind the radio stations. You have in the capital alone, you have close to, to uh, close to about 15 or 20 radio stations existing at the moment and mo most of them are found on the airwaves obviously you know and then you have more radios you have more religious radio stations coming in and then the sole government radio station is there so there's a huge competition in the radio industry in liberia right now the television sector is another point M most of the um, radio stations most of the owners of the radio stations also have combined with their radio stations television stations as well and they carry the relay CNN or and they relay some international sports of you obviously from the premiership as well you know but that they, they still lack that homegrown production local production because of the lack of equipment they don't have cameras they don't have you know microphones and they don't have even the logistics to get around 
Well, I'm optimistic about the future of media in Liberia. I was quite impressed when I got home and saw that so many radio stations have been created in Liberia. And uh, a lot of jo young journalists are anxious, actually, to pursue the area of journalism. The only problem they have there right now is training. Because if you listen to the radio stations in Liberia, you find out that most of the guys who are broadcasting right now know little or nothing about what they're doing. They don't even, they are not even conversant of the sensitivity of what radio does, the power of radio. You know, people get on a radio station and just speak locally. I mean, how you would just talk to your child at home or maybe off the streets. But in the next five or ten years, the media in Liberia will develop and there are great potentials. We have very smart, very clever radio producers at home. And in time to come, the Liberian media will be second to none in Africa. We look forward to uh, a better improvement and uh, that, is, that is the area we work. Uh, so it's a big challenge for us to see um, the guys improve. And, and that comes along with incentives, it comes along with, uh, with, with the better environment, you know, for them to practice. So we, we're looking forward to that. And we cannot, I mean, speak about this in any, in any in a small way to, to people who have the potential to help. Media institutions are around providing short-term training, but we would be very much pleased to have a, a long-term training program where journalists go and, and, and equip themselves for the challenge. So yes, we look forward to, to things improve and, and, and I'm sure it's going to improve.